Aina Falvey, I'm Director of Sports Medicine Sports Surgery Clinic and the uh, Team Physician for the Irish Senior Rugby Team and for the Irish Amateur Boxing Association High Performance Unit. One of the more interesting um, studies was one looking at uh, an analysis of the cost uh, and cost benefit in and around um, um, biomechanical uh, risk factors for, for ACL injury. So they looked at um, a summary of all the studies out there on neuromuscular training to prevent ACL injury uh, and they broke it into three groups, those who had no training at all, those who um, were universally trained and those who were screened for high risk injury and then trained. The basis being that it may be cheaper to identify high risk athletes, treat them uh, rather than treating a whole population. But in fact the studies, uh, the correlation of all the studies showed that it is probably more cost efficient to introduce a neuromuscular training program to a whole population rather than spending the money on trying to identify those who are at a higher risk and treat those. The research out there shows that the more input and interaction that occurs in their in their coaching, the better they'll be. So if there's if there's live feedback where the work is explained to athletes properly, and then there's feedback given on whether that's being completed properly or not, that's the effective one. So um, if a group can be taught how to deliver this, um, so coaches, strength and conditioning coaches, physiotherapists, athletic trainers, our doctors, uh, all can deliver this quite well. It's an interesting work to show that while over a 12-week program of neuromuscular training, a significant decrease in risk factors for ACL injury, injury can be attained. Unfortunately, when that training stops, the risk factors creep back. So what it means is that not only do we need to perform the work, we need to stay working at it. Second of all, um, when, the, when a meta-analysis of the work out there showed that there's a dose-response relationship between neuromuscular training and reduction in the risk factors for ACL injury. So you're nearly five times more likely to have an ACL injury if, when being involved in a neuromuscular training program, you comply poorly. Interestingly, all groups who uh, were involved in programs saw an improvement or a decrease in their risk of ACL injury, but there's a dose response which we noted, which uh, is quite exciting in the sense that the harder you work and the more compliant you are, the better you'll do.